Hi, this is Katie Farenbacher with GigaOM TV's Green Overdrive Show, and we're sitting in Tesla's Model S electric car. And the Model S is a very important car for Tesla and also for the electric vehicle industry in general. It's uh, the first electric car built from the ground up, designed as an electric car and not as an internal combustion car with a bunch of batteries stuffed into it. And it's also Tesla's key to profitability. So we're going to take a drive in the car. We're going to drive it for the first time, and we're really excited about it. Let's go. Now we can take it easy coming out of here. You remember the drill? I do. I'm not telling it. you anything. <laughs> uh, right side of. We're gonna go. Yep, right side of that. Through the gate and make a left. This is not where I drive fast. This is not where you drive fast. Now you can go fast. All right, you ready? Yep, I am. All right, so we went up to like 75 last time on here. Yep. All right, that's 60. Yeah, keep on going. Keep going. Good. Whoa, All right, now okay. back off. You don't even have to touch don't the, even brakes. the brakes. Don't touch the brakes. You're touching them. I, am I can touching tell. Them. <laughs> so the regenerative braking basically makes it so you just pull your yeah. It's very off much single pe single pedal driving. Now let your foot off the accelerator. Feel the car slowing down. Yeah, I had to help with that. It takes some getting used to, doesn't it? It does take a little bit, but it's incredibly intuitive. Um, once you get dialed in, which I will say takes maybe a few miles of driving, okay. you just, you really don't have to step on the brake except to stop or in very fast slowdown situations. Okay. So I'm almost coasting to a stop now. With Correct. The, which I have braking on there. Yeah. And now you're just using your brake to stop. Yeah. That was, the, the center of gravity is so low with the battery. It's the pretty The stability amazing. of the car is insane. <laughs> It really is. And extremely smooth. Yes. Yeah. And the, the pickup is a lot faster than kind of a standard sedan. I mean, it seems like... Well, because like... It, it puts out 100% torque from 0 RPMs, this car, which is the non-performance version, has 400 newton, be newton meters of torque from 0 RPMs. That's really fast. I mean... And it's 5.2 So, 5.6? Uh, 5.6, uh, 0 to 60. Yep. And then with the performance version, it takes it all the way down to 4.4 seconds. Yeah, so like when you go around the corners, when you go around the turns, like the, you don't even... The there's set, no body there's roll. No, there's yeah. no body roll. Yeah. So, so tell me about the active air suspension. Well, actually, up at uh, once we get through this section, we're going to uh, go over some bumpy road okay. where you'll really feel the active air. So the active air suspension can do a few things. Um, one, it makes the car incredibly smooth over rough road. Um, but what it also does is allows you to... Um, uh, is the car actually lowers on on the highway at, at highway speeds in order to uh, increase its efficiency, lower its uh, coefficient of drag. It lowers when you're going faster. Yep. How does it do that? Uh, because the it's an air suspension, so there's actually uh, air bladders in the shocks okay. that can raise and lower the vehicle. So should I take this one fast? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to turn off the climate control so that we can have complete silence in the car and you can feel how quiet the car goes over these bumps. This bumpy road? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really there's like, road. yeah, there's no vibration. There's no... Yeah, exactly. And that's because of the tires and the uh, suspension. It's, it's really the active air suspension, um, but also uh, because the battery pack is a structural member of the car, so down low, it creates a very stiff chassis um, with very low center of gravity. So I don't want you to hammer it, but I want you to smoothly accelerate through these turns and just feel how the car squats through the turn. No brake here, though. Is that awesome or what? Yeah, and that light noise, what is that? That's the, um, that's the motor and the drive inverter, yeah. Okay. Obviously, Bluetooth connectivity, uh, navigation, Google Maps. Um, then it also, you know, it has the web. It has a backup camera, which is kind of cool. You can see behind you. Yeah. Navigation. And that's the energy. Yes. Dashboard. You know, one. You know, one
one thing that you can see back there or not see is that there's no tunnel running down the center of the car. Right. And, you know, because there's no engine, because there's no transmission, because there's no gas tank, and because there's no um, uh, drive shaft, uh, we have a completely flat bottom car uh, with the battery in the bottom. And so, uh, sitting in the back seat, now uh, there's plenty of room in the middle seat. So we're driving the 85 kilowatt hour battery pack that has a EPA five cycle test range of 265 miles. Then there is the 60 kilowatt hour pack and a 40 kilowatt hour pack. And the 85 kilowatt hour, that's the price range is the... Uh, the base price before any te uh, credits and incentives is 77.4 and then the 60 kilowatt hour pack is 67.4 before any credits or incentives and the 40 kilowatt hour pack is 57.4 49.9 after the federal tax credit well thank you very much we really appreciate the ride yeah it was, yeah, it was awesome it was awesome my <laughs> pleasure